Forge, Chapter 16. The cloth bag held only coarse ground flour. A pox on all generals in the world, swore civilness after the sergeant left us. We've got to make fire cake. What's that? Eben asked. Sylvanus swore violently. I cannot tell you the words he used out of respect of your tender ears. You two, he pointed at Aaron and Henry, fetch us water from the creek yonder. The rest of you build the fire higher and then find me rocks the size of your hand or bigger. I'll borrow a cook pot from somewhere. We were all dazed with hunger and lack of sleep and did as he demanded without question. Once the rocks were gathered, Sylvanus picked out the flattest and made us rinse them in the creek before he set them on the coals by the fire. With all of the elements in place, the cooking began. Sylvanus slowly poured the flour onto, into the pot of muddy water, stopping every now and then to stir the concoction with a bayonet blade until it was as thick as a stoneman, stoneman's mason or Stoneman's mortar. Then Greenlaw, who had the longest arm of us all, wrapped his hand in some rags to shield it from the heat and spread the dough onto the stones with the blade. We crouched around the fire wordless. The dough hissed and sputtered. One of the rocks exploded, sending the piece of fire cake into the heart of the flames. Fellows from the artillery units gathered behind us. We had fire cake three times yesterday, one said. Best eat it while they're hot enough to burn your tongue. That way you don't taste so much. I'd expect to smell bread for the bread or for bread was a little more than flour and water instead the fire cake gave off a scorched smell like damp charcoal the thinnest of smears caught fire atop the rock must be uh, must be there ready civilness said greenlaw wrapped his hand again in the chiseled piece or chiseled each piece free, then scooped them from the rock and laid them atop of his haversack spread on the ground smoke rose from the charred edges Who's first? Civilness asked. A few fellows shook their heads and stepped backwards. I'll take a piece, I said. Good lad, Civilness broke a piece of fire cake into two pieces and handed me one and bit into the other. I did the same. What's it taste like? asked Greenlaw. Ashes and dirt. I nod at the hot splinters. It's hard enough to break a rat's teeth. Civilness held up another piece. Are you real soldiers or boys who just want to march in the sunshine? Eat this to find out who's next. Not me, Burns said. I'm off to find something better. After he left, Henry stepped up, and the, then Greenlaw, and then one by one, the rest joined in.